Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janet Anuku. I hail from Anambra State, but I'm based in Italy with my two beautiful children and my lovely husband. So I've been away from YouTube for over two weeks and I'm back today. And you know that once you see my face, we are about to do another cooking. So today's video is going to be a special one, but I want you to keep watching. So without wasting much of your time, I would like us to head to the kitchen immediately and start our video for today. Along the line, you are going to see why today's video is a special one. So please don't click out, keep watching. Let's head over to the kitchen and do what I know how to do best. So today I'm going to be making vegetable sauce, the type you can use for yam plantain, potato, and so many other things. This particular vegetable sauce is not meant for swallow. All right, so I'll be needing some spinach. My spinach has been washed and shredded. I have ugu, I have water leaf, I have Nigerian green, but today I'm going to be using spinach. This is going to be my protein. I have some grilled mackerel, some codfish, and some catfish here. Yeah? This is dry catfish. I'll be needing some salt. This is crayfish. These are bell peppers. Here I have some maggi, jumbo and no cubes. This is habanero pepper mixed with garlic. This is some tomato paste. I might be needing that. I don't know yet, but I might be needing that. I have some shredded onions. Now I have my red oil here. This oil came all the way from Nigeria, okay? So to tell you that, I like nothing in this kitchen. So we're going to start making this sauce immediately. If you know me, you know that I don't like wasting time in the kitchen. I'm going to be using red oil instead of vegetable oil. Of course, you can use vegetable oil. To which I'm adding my onions immediately. All the first waste things, you know, we eat better too. Food is one of those things that I cannot compromise. So when I have money, I eat what I want. This is going to be a very quick sauce. I'm adding the pepper, but I will be adding that gradually because this pepper is very, very hot. Very hot. If you can't remember all the ingredients that I showed you earlier, please check the description box. I'll be leaving everything down there. A month ago, I prepared a vegetable soup. If you want a vegetable soup that you can use for swallow, I will be leaving that vegetable soup link on my description box as well, so you can check it out. Everything is going in right now, and I'm going to just fry them, and I'm going to cover and fry for about five minutes or six minutes thereabout. This video is dedicated to people in Nigeria, okay? It's dedicated to them. My dear, whatever you eat in Nigeria, we're eating here. The only difference is that you go to the market and buy them. That instant that you want to cook, but I buy mine, I shred it, and then I put in the freezer. As you see me, so I don't like wasting time in the kitchen, eh? If there's one thing I hate in the kitchen, it's spending hours in the kitchen. I don't like that. Okay, fish. So I'm going to cover for three minutes, and I'll be back to add the spinach. Meanwhile, my boy is back from school. If you are new to this channel, this is my son, Emmanuel. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, welcome, welcome. He just so came My up. daughter is back from school. For those of you that are new to this channel, this is my beautiful daughter, Chizoba Oluwatoyin. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah, so you just came back from school. I'm about rounding up with the food. Go and change your clothes. I'll wait for you in the studio. At this point, everything is cooking on low heat. This is spinach. Spinach is not hard at all. See, so yeah, we have everything that you people are eating in Nigeria. We also have it here. We have a lot of fresh leaves. Let me start by showing you my water leaf. No, is there? I'm outside. This is my water leaf that I'm growing. I have a lot. This is another one. This is another water leaf. 
another one. I hope you can see them. Yeah, so this sauce is ready. Very much ready. So welcome back guys. Our food is ready. As you can see, our food is ready. Remember from the beginning I told you that today's video is a special one. Today's video is in collaboration. Guys, I'm collaborating for the very first time on YouTube. Oh my god, I am collaborating. I am collaborating for the very first time on YouTube and I'm very, very much excited. As in there, I am so happy. I'm happy for the fact that someone remembered to mention my name alone. I am the most happiest person on earth right now. And I'm collaborating with no other person than Lily Pops TV. Okay, I am collaborating with Lily Pops TV. Nah, I want to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I bless the day you mentioned my name, saying that you are going to be collaborating with me. I am so happy. I want to thank you so much. I discovered Lily Pops TV through Fantastic Favor, and ever since I discovered her, I am new to her channel. I like her personality because she's real. I like people that say the truth no matter what. We, we all know that truth hurt, but it's also good that we tell the truth. So I just love her personality because she's real, okay? So nah, like I said again, Thank you so much. Who doesn't know Lily Pope? If you don't know Lily Pope, I don't know what you're doing on YouTube. So, if you don't know Lily Pope, guys, I'm going to be leaving her link under my description box. So, please go and support her if you are from my channel. Thank you so much and I really appreciate you. Today is my turn. It might be your turn tomorrow. Please subscribe to her channel and tell her that I send you. Lily Pope's TV, ne, thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, we are collaborating today and I thank God. So while we are going to be eating this food, guys, we are going to be talking about marriage. Hmm. What is happening in marriages these days, especially in Nigerian celebrities' marriage? I really don't know what is happening. So maybe someone can tell me what's happening. Anyway, you turn on YouTube now. They are talking about celebrities' marriage. This is very bad. Very, very bad. On a normal day like this, I'm the top of my mind, my business. On a normal day like this, I don't give advice unless I am asked to. In this case, we we'll be say anytime, anytime I want to watch people's video, all I see is Toto DK, uh, Anne Dibia, B Square, this and that. It has now become my business because that is what is raining everywhere now. So it's, it's not my business. Hmm? It all started with um, Peter Okoye. Is it Peter or Paul? Is it Peter or Paul? I can't even remember. Eh? I can't remember. P square one of them he started with that then annie and two-faced told to dk tega i don't know about tega so i really don't care about that one so i'm going to start by saying that marriages are going down these days because people like patience and trust and this is why marriages are going back this day and that is very very bad honestly when i turn to internet to Maybe watch somebody's video and I see what is going on there. I'm really not happy. I am not happy because I have a daughter at home who is 16 years old. I have a son who is almost 11. And um, honestly, I'm even glad that my daughter signed out of. She, that is, she unsubscribed herself from Instagram. Yeah, and I was so happy the day she told me that she unsubscribed from Instagram. Although even when she was uh, on Instagram, she only shot with her classmates, her girlfriend that I in her class. So I wasn't really bothered about that. So, but now, eh, hmm. if this thing continues like this, this thing is going to ruin our young girls because they are going to have that mentality that marriage is not a place to be. And that is not, that is not truth. Marriage is one of the beautiful things that God has ever created. It's just that people are really misunderstanding everything. People are misunderstanding everything these days. And this is really, really scary. Eh? Let me start with Peace Square's marriage. When I heard that their marriage scattered, Oh my God, the thing will pay me. The thing will really pay me. Eh? It pay me because these are one of the people that I really admire when it comes to music, couple, life, and all that. Let me say what I think about that Peace Square's marriage. Eh? If I were to be that lady, what happened in their marriage is cheating, right? Hmm. If I were to be in her shoe, I'm talking about my own opinion now, so please don't come for me. If I were to be in her shoe, I would forgive my husband. Yes, after 17 years of marriage, I will forgive. I will forgive only if that incident occurred for the very first time after 17 years of marriage. Yes, I will forgive that. 
But if what happened to them was repeating itself, then I understand the woman. So if that mistake was the very first one that's impregnating their housemaid or house girl, eh, I will forgive that one. We will train that picking together. I'm telling you, we will train that picking together. Even the mother of the child we are going to help, remember that child has no business in that case. The people that I really blame in that case is, is it Peter or Paul? Then the housemaid, because she knew very well that Peter or Paul was married before she allowed herself to be impregnated. So we are going to train that child together. Then she is the one who is going to be the single mother because she bargained for it. Anyone who is going after someone else's husband, knowing that the person is married, whatever, you, whatever come out of that case is your problem. But you see that child, we are going to train it together. The only reason why I will not forgive my husband in that case is that if maybe the case has been repeating itself and we've been talking about it and he's not ready to change, then I will not forgive. Even if I forgive you, oh my God, the house is going to be a living hell for you. That is the kind of person that I am. If I forgive you, so sometimes it's not good for us to forgive. I'm talking from my own perspective now. I cannot forgive someone who has been hurting me repeatedly. I can forgive that once, but if it happens for the second time, if at all I'm going to forgive you, oh my God, you will be forced to be the one to pack out of the house for me because I will make that house so hot for you that you won't even know where you pack your bag and leave. So for peace be your own, I would have forgiven my husband if I were to be in her case. So for Tonto DK, what happened to Tonto DK? Oh my God, I'm not even eating. I'm so passionate about this case because when it comes to husband and wife case, cheating and all this thing, I'm passionate about that, okay? Anything concerning marriage, I'm passionate about that. So when it comes to Tonto DK owner, oh, hmm. when it comes to Tonto DK, what happened to Tonto DK was that, um, I think after Church Hill, this particular man here happens to be the man she truly loves. Guys, we cannot command this thing called heart. And eh? when your heart loves someone, and you act stupid sometimes. So on Tom to decay own, I really don't blame her on all that happened. Yeah, people are saying that um, even though people are saying that she was not supposed to brought her relationship on social media. Social media or no social media, if a relationship wants to scatter, it will scatter. So for Tom to decay, hmm. I don't know what happened between them. Hmm. According to the audios that I've listened to on YouTube and Facebook, where the man was vomiting nonsense, oh my God. I pray that my children should not come across such a man in their life. Amen. Because no matter what's happened between you and your girlfriend, no matter what happened between you and a woman that you've already slept with, a wo oh my God, a woman that you share the same plate of food with, eh? then you'll be saying that kind of a thing. When I listened to that old, he became so small in my eyes. Ah, God have mercy. God have mercy. I pity Tonto. If only she knew that the man was that kind of person. I don't know what Tonto did to him, but the audio that I listened to, ah, the only place I blame Tonto DK on all these things eh, is where I listened to, where she was telling the man to please take care of the son, not allow the father to come closer to him. Oh my God. If Don Todike was standing by me by that time, I would have given her a dirty slap. No matter how bad a man can be, he's still the father of your child. Even if you don't want to give that child to that man, find his family members or your own family members to hand the child over to. How can you go and hand over a child to another man that you've not just met for maybe three or four months? That is very, very ridiculous. Oh my God, that's very, very bad. Eh? Don't do so, please. If one day you come across this video, that was very bad thing to say. Very, very bad. As for Bob Bogley, God will judge him. I don't know what happened, but God is going to judge that case. But for the things that I've heard with my ear, it hurts. It hurts a lot, I'm telling you. Then for Annie Dibia, hmm. Annie Dibia case, eh? Annie Dibia only did not really touch me. Two faces not start cheating on Annie Dibia today. So I don't know why Anne is complaining. What I can tell my fellow women is, if you see something that you know that your power pass, not talk, say, ah, maybe this person will change. Mm. If that person did not change for that first time, second time, that person will never change again. But the problem with our lady is that, um, let me keep Uchi, maybe he's going to change. You can never change a man, especially the one that goes about cheating on you. You can never change that person. 
and the Libya case did not really ring bell on my head because that has been happening for over a decade, if not a decade and a half, and she has been tolerating it. So, 10 years ago, you won't see me saying the thing that I'm saying because my mentality then was different. So, if you as a woman, if you fail to know the kind of man you are married to for the first year of your marriage, the second one, the second year of your marriage, if these three years is not okay for you to know the really the kind of person that you are really married to, then the third year, I don't know what you are doing in that marriage. If in these two years you did not discover the kind of person you are married to. These days, sometimes when my husband annoyed me, thank God that man has never done anything that really will make me to think of anything bad. Eh? Sometimes when he annoys me, eh, these days, I will just overlook things. I will overlook things and when I sit down and thought of things that I used to do like six years ago when we are six years into marriage and I will say to myself, this girl, you've, you've been so stupid all along. Hmm? Because sometimes I see that things that used to get me angry then are just minor things. So, but thank God I've grown into marriage, 16 years of marriage and counting. Glory be to God Almighty. So that is the reason why I talk about patience. Patience is the key to marriage. Patience is the key. If you know you want to last in your marriage, you have to have patience. So we need patience in life, tolerance. And when I say tolerance, I didn't tell you to tolerate more than you can be. Hmm? And I think I'm going to end this video here today. But before then, please, like I said, this is a collaboration video, Lily Pops TV. I thank you once again there for remembering me. Thank you for collaborating with me. Man, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So please, my people, you know the right thing to do. Like I said, it's my turn today. It might be your turn tomorrow. Please visit Lily Pops TV. I will be leaving her video link on my description box. Click on it and visit her, okay? Even though I know that many people know Lily Pope, but please visit and subscribe and tell her you are coming from my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Eh? I really appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please don't forget to thumb up this video. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Thank you so much. God bless everyone. Thank you. Bye. Let me enjoy my food now because I don't talk too much.